24 minutes down, 24 to go. Whip Snakes for Water Dogs 2 at halftime of our first of three games here in Colorado Springs today. Welcome back inside the broadcast booth. He's the Hall of Famer, Ryan Boyle. I'm Jake Marsh. Low scoring game. Both goalies, Kyle Burnlore, Dylan Ward, they're balling out right now. Water Dogs, a chance to tie or even take the lead. Of course, the two point shot in play. First ever meeting between these two teams. That shot deflected by Burnlore from McArdle. It was a great look there by Ben Reeves coming out of the box. So they've got McArdle and Walker down at attack, and they've bumped Reeves up to the midfield. Here's McArdle. Oh, superb defense there. Michael Earhart steps up. Yeah, Earhart, you know, Coach Copeland said he's basically good for two to three goals a game in terms of generating himself or eliminating. That's the type of impact he makes at both ends of the field. Earhart was called the best offensive long stick midi in the league by his coach. Oh my, from deep range. McArdle. So Copeland takes him out and then reinserts him into the lineup. And you can see the little two-man game with Courier. Bryce Young elects to go underneath this pick. And that allows McArdle to get his hands free. So you can see the slight changes that Coach Copeland has made in terms of personnel immediately paying dividends. Walker scores in transition, and then McArdle in the settled six on six. And I love what Reeves brings coming out of the box on a short stick. Here in McArdle gives Water Dogs the lead. A 4 nothing run in the last three minutes. His first two of the season. They win the faceoff. Ball loose in front of the crease. All purple surrounding Charlie Hayes. Charlie Hayes, a newcomer to this squad. Earhart's hunting transition here. That's a two point shot wide left from Chan and Chuck. The first two minutes of this second half, polar opposite from the first 24 in terms of offensive aggressiveness. That one saved by Ward. And here come Water Dogs in transition. It's Gobrek. Feeds right. Ryland Reese bounces one in for a pair. Water Dogs lead by three. Ryland Reese is a legit two point threat. And you can see the Water Dogs, totally different team coming out of the break. Heads up play by Reese. This little kind of face dodge to create some separation from Smith. He kind of shifts his body, gets that stick back, and the high bouncer, they'll go. His third two point goal of the season. One in week one, one in week two, and here we go with another one. Chantel, how is Ryland Reese feeling right now? He is feeling great. A two-pointer on the board for you, but this team looks completely different after the half. What changed? Yeah, you know, we're just trying to get back to our ways. You know, early morning games are sometimes tough. I haven't done these since high school, so, you know, just kind of getting back to our water rods way and, you know, finding a way to get these balls in the net. Back to you guys. Would you believe it? Another goal for Water Dogs. It's Zach Courier who pours it on. A 7 nothing run for the team in purple. This roster looking for answers. Now facing their biggest deficit of the game. Down by four early in this third quarter. They have the possession here. Trying to create some space in the attacking zone. Tierney. He scored today, patiently cradling. The pick goes for two. Dylan Ward, how do you do? You say my Ward. And you could hear Jim Stagnita begging his guys, don't take the first shot. We're kind of playing right into their hands. That was exactly it. 
Whip Snakes love to shoot the ball. They lead PLL in shots per game, 47 and a half. However, last in shooting percentage at 22 and a half percent. Of course, the conversion's all that matter. They've got a little something out of the substitution game just off the mark in terms of that pass from Schlosser to Reeves. So looking for more firepower, but now Whip Snakes, another opportunity to try to crawl back into this one. They led 4-1 at one point in the first half. Now down by four, Zed Williams above the crossbar, stays with Whips. And you've got Ben McIntosh running off the field, so there's a little six on five here if they push. A substitution, oh, a golden opportunity. Tierney still has it. Great defense by Water Dogs, flag flies. Gobrek is Go down right Flying now. Down. Keep playing. They're gonna play on. Like, keep playing. There's a flag down here. So this delayed penalty, free opportunity for the Water Dogs offensively. Let's see if Mikey Schlosser can take advantage. Oh, he lays one down defensively. Has space! Just a little high. And there's the penalty. 